Are you familiar with the ones rule for dust on unpaved roads? It goes one car making one pass daily on one mile of untreated, unpaved road can generate one ton of dust in one year. That's a lot of dust. It's also more than that, though. Much, much more than that. In the presentation you're about to see, you're going to learn what dust is and the problems it can create on unpaved roads, some of which are obvious, others perhaps not. You're also going to learn what you can do about reducing these problems. Specifically, you're going to learn how Liquidal liquid calcium chloride controls dust better and more efficiently than any other commonly used material. Next, we're going to show you how it's done. That is, we're going to show you how you can improve your unpaved roads through grading and treatment with Liquidal. Then, discuss the results you can expect, both in terms of dust control and, perhaps more importantly, cost. Now, when you see dust kicked in the air like this, what exactly does it mean? Well, to area residents, it's a nuisance and unhealthy. Dust allergies are common, and some diseases are dust-borne. To drivers, it's a hazard. Consider that twice as many people are killed per vehicle mile on unpaved roads than on paved roads. To vehicles, it's damaging. Dust can hasten by a factor of 5 to 10 the deterioration of cars and trucks. To certain crops, it's detrimental. To you, however, that lost dust can represent significant lost dollars from your budget year in and year out. That's because lost dust ultimately leads to potholes and rutting, which in turn require constant maintenance and can waste up to 75% of a county's annual road budget. Then, when the roads are fixed, you still have the dust problem. So, where does all this dust come from? Dust is actually caused by traffic as it grinds down tiny particles called fines. These fines are what give a road its stability as they hold the coarse aggregate in place. That is, fines fill the gaps and voids between the more coarse materials to help lock them in position. In other words, fines help prevent these larger particles from shifting and moving around under traffic loadings. When both the coarse aggregate and the binding fines remain in place, the road's crown remains intact. When the crown remains intact, water can drain into ditches. Now, if there's a secret to maintaining good unpaved roads, it could be summed up in two words, proper drainage. Because with proper drainage, it's very difficult for potholes and rutting to form. Without it, a road is almost guaranteed to fail prematurely. The point is, if you start off with a good road, one that's bladed and shaped to a straight line slope of one half inch to 12 inches, or a type A crown to let water drain off it properly, it's likely to stay that way. In short, you can look at fines as the first link in a strong, solid chain that leads you to good unpaved roads. Now, let's look at what happens to this chain when these fines are broken down and traffic begins to kick dust in the air. As the dust leaves the road, the surface begins to loosen. Next, valuable aggregate is pushed to the sides or completely off the road. Then the A shape of the crown begins to break down and flatten. When this happens, deterioration begins to accelerate. That's because water simply cannot drain off the road anymore. Instead, it remains on the surface of the road and forms puddles. As some of this water soaks into the ground, it actually acts as a lubricant for the aggregate. These saturated areas are commonly known as soft spots. Vehicles that pass over these soft spots easily shove the aggregate to the sides or completely off the road. Ultimately, deep ruts and potholes form and long stretches of washboarding develop. When a road reaches this stage, the final stage of deterioration, your maintenance costs are just beginning. So, where is the weak link in this chain? Obviously, it's the fines being ground into dust particles, then blown away. 
It's the fines that hold the coarse aggregate and hence the whole road in place. So the key is to hold the fines in place. That's where liquid, al liquid calcium chloride comes in. Liquid al calcium chloride is a hydroscopic material, which simply means it attracts moisture. From where? Anywhere it can get it, from the air, the ground, and the surroundings. When spread on an unpaved surface, it uses this moisture to help keep the surface damp and dust down. But won't this moisture evaporate quickly? No, because in addition to calcium chloride's moisture attraction ability, it also fights evaporation. In fact, under normal conditions, when applied to an unpaved road in the spring, liquid al calcium chloride can attract moisture, fight evaporation, and most important, control dust well into August. That's not the only way you benefit from calcium chloride. For example, because Liquidal helps keep fines and coarse material in place, aggregate loss is reduced, often dramatically. As a result, savings add up quickly. In fact, several users have reported savings as high as $1,000 per mile per year, not counting savings in labor and equipment costs tied to aggregate replacement. Further, because road materials stay in place longer, the frequency of bladings per mile per year is reduced. This, in turn, reduces labor and equipment costs. What's more, calcium chloride can cut costs on both the material and labor needed for spot repairs and the frequency with which repairs are needed. Users commonly report this expense is cut in half. Finally, because less road maintenance is needed when you use Liquidal, fuel costs go down. As a result of decreased operations, fewer equipment repairs and less maintenance are needed. With all these benefits from using Liquidal calcium chloride for dust control, you might logically ask yourself, what about the other dust suppressants on the market? Aren't they as good as calcium chloride? Well, the answer is no. Here's why. As you probably know, there are numerous dust control agents. Most of them provide conflicting evidence as to their capabilities. This one does this, that one does that. Therefore, to set the record straight, we gathered together all pertinent studies that compared calcium chloride to the other materials. Then, we commissioned an independent research firm to fill in the gaps, that is, for any relevant dust control materials not included in those studies, the research firm was to conduct its own studies comparing calcium chloride to those materials. In the end, it was found that liquid calcium chloride was more effective than any other dust control agent. Here are the highlights. Liquidal versus an asphalt emulsion. After four weeks of testing, the independent research firm determined that Liquidal achieved a dust control efficiency rating 135% greater than the emulsion. By the way, it's worth noting that because of its poor performance after just one month, the emulsion was applied a second time. Shortly thereafter, it was declared unsatisfactory and removed from consideration altogether. Liquidal versus various brines. Here, after four weeks, the research firm concluded that the dust control efficiency of Liquidal was 22% greater than a semi-processed brine and 18% greater than a natural brine. Liquidal versus magnesium chloride. A report from the Royal Technical College of Stockholm, Sweden, concluded that over a long period of time, and I quote, it is necessary that about 18% more magnesium chloride commercial product be applied, unquote. That is to achieve the same level of dust control. Then they went on to say, again I quote, with the present cost accounting situation, the calcium chloride should come out as being cheaper to use while achieving the same dust binding effect, unquote. Here's something else to take into account. Magnesium chloride begins to lose its ability to attract moisture at relative humidities below 31%. Calcium chloride, on the other hand, 
continues to attract moisture at relative humidities all the way down to 18%. What this means simply in layman's terms is that magnesium chloride can't keep dust down as well as calcium chloride can when the weather gets dry. Think about that for a moment. Isn't that when you really need dust control the most? Liquidal versus lignin sulfonate. To determine relative cost effectiveness, the U.S. Bureau of Mines set a 50% dust control efficiency rating as a standard. In meeting this criteria, it was found that lignin cost between 1.41 and 1.46 times more to use than Liquidal because of application frequency and road maintenance requirements. Liquidal versus water. Here, the U.S. Bureau of Mines found that watering required constant reapplication. Therefore, it cost between 1.48 and 2.18 times more to use than Liquidal. The U.S. Bureau of Mines also made two other important discoveries. One, a surfactant or soap-like substance which was studied was eliminated from testing because it failed to meet the minimum 50% dust control requirement. Two, they found that calcium chloride achieved the highest dust control efficiency of all materials tested, by far. In summary, none of the other commonly used dust control agents are as performance effective and as cost effective as Liquidal liquid calcium chloride. Thus far in this presentation, we've learned what dust is and how important it is to providing good unpaved roads. We've also learned how Liquidal calcium chloride controls dust effectively and is more cost effective than the alternatives. There is one additional thing, however, we wish to point out. That is, calcium chloride cannot make a bad road good. It can only keep a good road good. Which brings us to the final portion of this presentation. In these remaining few minutes, we intend to show you how a typical unpaved road can be brought up to standard and how easy it is to apply Liquidal calcium chloride in order to keep it that way. Keep in mind, these are merely general guidelines. Obviously, road conditions, traffic, and even local climate may affect the methods and practices you follow. First, you'll want to set the blade to a depth which will remove all ruts and potholes, as shown here. The next step is to blade and shape the surface to a straight line slope of one half inch to 12 inches, or a type A shaped crown. This will let water drain off the surface and into the ditches. Although this was mentioned earlier, it bears repeating because of its great importance. Also, it's difficult to avoid creating berms along the sides of the road during blading, but it's imperative that you remove them. That's because these buildups will restrict water drainage from the surface. If you see any, simply remove them with the grader's blade as a final step in the road shaping process. Once the road is shaped to the type A crown, you may want to lightly spray the surface with water, particularly if it's dry. The next step is to apply Liquidal calcium chloride to the road surface at the rate of 0.27 gallons per square yard. Bear in mind, this is a standard application rate. For heavily traveled roads, you may want to increase this dosage slightly, say to 0.35 gallons per square yard. Under normal conditions, however, applying 0.27 gallons per square yard of Liquidal in the spring will provide you with dust control throughout the summer. For best results, we strongly recommend a second treatment in late summer or early fall. In the end, this will ensure a hard, dust-free road throughout the entire summer and fall. What's more, it will help protect against early frost damage as winter approaches. Beyond that, you'll want to consider all the money that can be saved through reduced aggregate loss. There's also the reduced frequency of bladings needed per mile per year to consider. You'll also want to take into account how calcium chloride can cut both material and labor costs associated with spot repairs and the frequency with which they're needed. Finally, 
Consider that because less road maintenance is needed, fuel costs go down. Then, as a result of decreased operations, fewer equipment repairs and less maintenance are needed. In conclusion, if you want better unpaved roads, and if you want to bring down all maintenance costs associated with those roads as well, use Liquidal Liquid Calcium Chloride. It keeps dust down to improve your roads, and when dust stays down, your total road maintenance costs stay down too. Remember, the word for dust control on unpaved roads is Liquidal. Spread the word.